yo yo what up world man 2024 is lit it's been crazy man this is it's not good man they talking about your boy julio fulio man they saying that he got backdoored man by a girl then they saying the one that was supposed to be in his brother supposedly might have backdoored him too uh they saying your boy young and ace he made a diss song a couple hours before or after you know he uh he was he was killed um it's it's gonna be worse and worse i mean i don't even know what to say but uh i got some things i want y'all to check out we're gonna have more updates on that so y'all stay tuned as well um y'all just stay safe be blessed i mean stay out of the way you know if you moving hot like that stay in the house uh i mean that's just the only thing you could do at that point you know um Y'all have a good day. I'm going to show y'all this footage right now. Peace. So police are paying close attention to rival gangs. It's after local rapper Julio Julio was shot and killed in Tampa over the weekend. And Sheriff T.K. Waters says he would not tolerate revenge. Action News Act's Robert Grant is live outside JSO. And Robert, JSO is working with Tampa police on this investigation. Yeah, Ben, the sheriff says detectives here actually told Tampa PD that Julio would be in town. Now they're offering up any information that could help with the investigation. Meanwhile, the rapper's attorney says the now 26-year-old was in Tampa celebrating his birthday when he was ambushed in a hotel parking lot. From a birthday celebration to scene of a deadly shooting 170 miles away, Tampa police say Charles Jones, a local rapper known as Julio Fulio, was shot and killed. When I ride through the east side, I wanna see you. The 26-year-old is known for his popular rap videos with controversial lyrics about murders involving rival gangs in Jacksonville. Sheriff T.K. Waters condemns the deadly violence. Because it ain't cool now. No, it's over now. It's over for him. It's permanent. And now we have to deal with messing and cleaning it up and fixing it. Fulio's attorney says he was at a Tampa Airbnb celebrating his 26th birthday when he was asked to leave because there were too many guests. Fulio posted about moving the celebration to a hotel where his attorney says he was ambushed in the parking lot. Sheriff Waters says the gang unit will now pay attention to clashing groups here in Jacksonville. Well, we're going to keep them off balance so you can't come in here and start shooting up neighborhoods and cities and cars and doing whatever you want to do. The sheriff says the key to stopping this violence is getting ahead of it. We're taking a proactive um, look at trying to trying to get people to, to change and do something different. You know, if they don't, then we're going to do everything we can to put them in prison forever. And Tampa police did not have any additional updates today. So far, they've not made any arrest or named any potential suspects with this case. Now, the sheriff had something to say about a rival gang member's video that was dropped just hours after that deadly shooting, what he had to say next at 6. But for now, local coverage you can count on in downtown Jacksonville. I'm Robert Grant, Action News Jax. Hey, yo. One boy shot my house up. I was right there on the bed, me and my little brother, Quan Quan. They just shot my house up from right up. This is my mama's shit right up. They shot my mama's house up. They shot this part right up. My mama was in the room. They shot that bitch up. My whole, my house always got shot. They always spent on my shit. But then we doubling them back though, for real. Come here though. The ATK gang. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. Ace's top killers is one. Nine people, you know, potentially responsible for you know, 15 murders that we know of, and and who knows what else. The day we we're shooting scenes for um, when I see you, who I smoke. Uh huh. Who I Smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? I don't know. How I took it too far when they made a song for speaking. Once the dead get involved, it's already too far. Hi, what is up, everybody? For the past few months, the most talked about song on social media is the Who I Smoke video from Young and Ace. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years. 
and it's happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, taking the beats from classic pop songs, and trying to rap the most demonic shit over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it, filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing to lyrics that celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville, who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Who I Smoke. Say it. No! <laughs> hey, Fulio, come get this nigga before he playing with your top. This is one of the most savage videos I've seen. Just, you know why? They show one gun in the video. But the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have, like, enjoy life while clowning the niggas who died? So Fulio had to retaliate in a darker, more ominous way, remixing a classic Fantasia song and in the music video, printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fulio's crew and Young and Ace's crew released this song after this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. Got kidnapped, they found his poles, he was right. Where is Corbin? Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. He left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Oh. Corbin Johnson was last seen alive in July of last year. Then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. But what makes this situation real cold is some of the folks beefing are literal cousins. Blood relatives caught up on opposite ends of the feud. Now, now, that is your cousin. Nigga, fuck your cousin, man. That's your real cousin? That nigga cousin, I don't give a fuck about that nigga cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first, I got my guy Millie's with Jim Jones for the song of the day today. This is Heightened Senses.